I'm gonna be completely open and honest, okay? I don't know how much I'm gonna like this. I just can't lie. I like ABBA well enough, I know quite a few songs. But I've always just kinda had the Mamma Mia movies pinned as something that I wouldn't like. What's funny is I kinda have no reason to believe that it's just Vibes. <laughs> I don't know. So in coming into this, I'm sort of just hoping to be proven wrong. I've also realized that I only know two cast members, Meryl Streep and Amanda Seyfried. I don't know who else is, uh, is there anyone else that I might recognize in this? But yeah, I'm a bit nervous because I hope I enjoyed these, but also hearing a bunch of covers in a musical movie like this, I don't know. You know what might be an easy way to find out though? hit and play on the songs, right? Before we start though, I thought I'd let you know that I upload some uncut versions of my reactions over on Patreon. You can also hear me swear fully uncensored over there. If that's your thing, there's a link in the description below. There's also a link to my Discord server, which you should join. I would love to see you there. So I thought for the first song, we'd listen to the song that the movie is named after. I feel like I started confusing myself with that sentence, but it's Mamma Mia, in brackets, here I go again, you know, the song. So this is Mamma Mia from Mamma Mia. I've also just realized I don't even know the plot. I know it's in Greece, so the plot is Greece. Is she like opening it? A... Oh. oh, hey, it's that guy. Co Colin Firth. Whoa, what's this transformation? What's that symbol on his jacket? Uh, oh, what that? <gasps> Bill. What the? Is that st Yep. Yep. That was Stellan's cast guard. What the hell is this cast? But also what I was going to say is this has been kind of creepy already. What was up with the, the, the eye knee tattoos? Didn't like that. Why is she creeping up in this little attic thing with the crawl space or like a little trap door? Why are they in various strange outfits? And more importantly, do I want to know the answers to any of these questions? All right. What a look. Are they actually there? Or, I don't know, it seems like she just saw a bunch of different people. I was cheated by you, and I think you know when I- Whoa, hold on. Didn't they just change the lyrics? In the lyric, I've been cheated by you and I don't know when? I, mean, I guess maybe it makes sense in the plot. I don't know what I thought Meryl Streep's voice was gonna sound like, but I feel like it wasn't that. I'm interested to hear her maybe do some stronger belty notes. So I made up my mind, it must come to an end. That's some really strange processing. Look at me now. It gives her... <laughs> the, the silly dancing is so strange, but I kind of love it. I feel like the vocal processing is an intentional choice. I don't know quite what it is or what you'd actually say, like the proper terminology, but it makes it feel kind of raw. I don't know. It doesn't feel like some giant overproduced thing. It feels like, you know, a character, a person singing. This is so, so odd already. What, the goats? I like the backing. That, am I crazy? Or is, is that the actual backing layers in the real song? It kind of sounds like it. Is she peering through the, oh. I thought she was trying to look through a window and like, oh, like looking up through a trap door wasn't enough. Now I gotta peer in through some windows. It's a poster for a performance. Why is she kind of cute with it? I like it. I'm ready for... Okay. That's what I was kind of hoping that they go proper full tone chesty with it. Because up until this point, it's kind of felt as though she was holding herself back a bit, not really giving the full sound, which makes sense. You know, she's kind of sneaking around. You're not just going to like start belting out some notes. But once she's out here and she's climbed up on that, she's letting it out. I don't mind the like vocal fry and sort of the flaws they're letting come through. Why are they chasing her? I, I was I was literally about to be like, oh, why are they upside down? Thinking, oh, what a weird shot, and then they show her. God, that is. <laughs> I made a joke about her being creepy and peering in through windows and that's exactly- That's horrifying! Take the- take away all the context and what you know about this. This looks like it's straight out of a horror movie. I was angry and sad when I knew we were through. Are they blowing up mattresses? What is, why is she like staring at him? 
<laughs> okay, so they are in completely different... I don't know what she's seeing there. I guess it's just her imagination or, like, fantasies or whatever. Oh, is she gonna find another place to look through? I, you know, I don't know if I'm meant to be. Maybe I am. But I'm just a little bit uncomfortable. Granted, I don't know the context. This could all make total sense within the confines of the film. But right now, all I've seen is a woman peering through various places at unsuspecting people who don't seem to know they're being watched, all while singing about losing control. Should I be worried? Because I am a little. That upside down shot, man. I feel like that'll just, that's burned into my brain. Just one look and I can hear and she's just like, just one look. Like, one more look. As, one more look through the window. Oh, just strange set. They're like, oh, who is this creepy stalker on the roof? Does it show again? My um, just how, much I miss. how can I resist you as she's trying to break in through this trap door to peer at these people some more? Yes, broke, I'm guessing these people aren't really there. Why, why, I don't like just jump in or something. Mama mia. Are they gonna look up and see her? Oh, okay. You always knew how to make an entrance. <laughs> you always knew how to make an entrance? <laughs> so they're just fine with it? Maybe they were aware that she might be around, but this is just something she does, but she's on their roof, falls through and lands on the mattress they're blowing up, and they're just like, ha ha, what an entrance that you just had. Not why were you on our roof? How long have you been staring at us, creepo? <laughs> I don't exactly know what I think after that, to be honest. The actual performance was pretty good and did address one of the concerns I had because I was a little bit worried that they were just gonna do the songs pretty much exactly the way the songs were, but that was very different. They even changed the lyrics and sometimes a little bit of the rhythm. They gave it this whole different and unique spin. And if you're doing covers like that, that's d I, I love when people do that. And it was definitely very performative. All of my joking about the potential creepiness aside, I'm pretty happy happy with how that sounded. And like I said a couple of times, I just enjoy the production there because they seemed to really focus on the character in her voice, which just kind of made everything feel a lot more natural. Anyway, I'm very excited for the next song, not only because it's Lay All Your Love On Me, but also because we're gonna hear Amanda sing. I actually don't know if I've heard Amanda sing. I know she's been in a few things where she's sung. I can't think of one I've watched. I wasn't jealous before we met. Another dude here. Every man that I see I just, I just have to say that the production here is just not what I thought it was gonna be. I really, really thought they were gonna go for a big, like, proper professional music production. And obviously, you know, it is big and proper and professional, but it really feels like characters singing. I hope you can understand what I mean. Like, I'm not saying any of them sound bad, but they feel like people singing, you know? And I'm possessive, it isn't nice. You've heard me saying that smoke. I'm excited to hear this like back and forth that they're gonna have. But now it isn't true. Okay, he's got a nice tone there. Now everything is new. I, I'm just so excited to hear Amanda. I beg of you. Love the backing again. Are they using bits from the actual songs? I don't know if I'm wrong. That again feels like the group backing vocal from the song, unless they're just recreating it quite close. No. Yes, girl! Okay, so, you know, I know we've only heard like three people sing so far in this movie, but Amanda takes the goddamn cake. It's funny because while I haven't actually heard her singing anything, I just knew. I just knew I'd love her voice. There's something about Miss Seyfried that just is wonderful. She, I feel like she's flawless in everything. Oh my god. So good. So damn good. Beautiful. See, the way that they have changed the rhythm, maybe I, maybe I just don't know these songs as well as I think, but I feel like they're changing things at least a little bit, and y'all can fight me best for, I mean, I guess maybe there'll be more people that will sing and sing better, but man, oh, I think I'm starting to like it. I, still don't know what you've done with me. I hope we get to hear her go a little bit higher. Her vibrato is so nice. Yes. 
Oh my god, her tone. Are they gonna sing together for this chorus? There's the higher. Higher note, sustained note. <sighs> okay, I'm in. I'm in. Oh, it's just him here. He sounds better here too, that strong voice. Them together would be really good now, I believe. What the, what the hell is happening? So how- What? So, um, sincerely? Genuine question. I just- I just need to know, because I'm really confused. What the f you, you know? And why was she just laughing along with that? Like if I was making out with my partner on a beach and then a bunch of dudes in like short shorts just came, picked them up and carried them away, dancing away with flippers on a pier, I'd be like, I wouldn't sit there and be like, ha ah, ha I'd be like, oh God, someone call the police. My, my, my partner's being kidnapped. Do they know these people? I hope so. Where, where, where'd the guy go? He's just gone. Isn't he? Where'd he... Is that him? How did he do that? I am baffled. The more I watch from this movie, the more I'm just like, man, this is weird and mildly terrifying and threatening. <laughs> so far, the two songs we've had have had, a, a, I guess, a stalker sort of someone peering in through windows hanging upside down looking in staring at a bunch of guys resisting the temptation to open a trap door and look down it's it's weird and then someone whose boyfriend just got carted off by a bunch of hunks in short shorts and then they're almost like oh what a what a fun time as they threateningly march off in flippers am i am i am i am i losing it should i go take my temperature to make sure my brain isn't boiling this is so weird i don't know if i'm ready for the next one to be honest because the song is kind of weird. I like it, but it definitely has a strange tone to it and I'm so I'm so cautiously curious. You know, I'm 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 really interested and I want to know, but I'm also a little scared where they're going to take it cuz it's it's Waterloo, y'all. And this this looks like it's on a stage, so maybe it's a performance. The dancing. Oh my god, it's me. It's me in a club. Yeah. Oh, I need to sue them for, for, for stealing my moves. I don't dance like that. Thankfully, you know, I dance poorly, but better. <laughs> oh, that's strong and good. Okay, okay. Well, what I was saying before about the like flaws and stuff, I mean, that's not even there. This is, I mean, maybe this is like after a journey of improvement or whatever, probably towards the end of the movie. But damn, they sound so good, so coherent. Just everything works well together for them. <laughs> okay, I kind of love their vibe. She's significantly less creepy here. <laughs> Why do I suddenly love them? They sound so good! Hit me with that again. Oh, hello. You know, I just never in my life really thought that I'd see Stellan Skarsgård in an outfit like this singing. Damn, they... Why do they kind of eat? Uh, what? <laughs> what is the context? Like, they are doing a performance right, but we haven't... S it's credits. Okay, it's the end. But are they performing? I don't see an audience. Oh, they're all so cute together. This is so well produced, like really well done. <laughs> I'm so glad that she's in it. I love her. Oh, they, they, what the, what the, what the hell? Like literally in the last song, I was saying that I expected a more like fully properly produced thing, but I was also happy to hear that like raw, real sound. And now it feels like we're just getting the best of both worlds. And it feels like they're doing this where it's appropriate too. Yeah, I feel like they're like at their peak here, right? This just feels so silly. I guess, 
<laughs> yeah, I guess I hadn't really thought about the fact that this was probably like more tongue-in-cheek than I expected. I guess I just thought that it took itself quite seriously, but it seems to be very self-aware and I like that. I feel like you need that for something like this. It's just tying him up. Oh, he couldn't escape. Get it? No, the dancing. It's so, it, it like, I get that it's the vibe, but it's so, like, I don't even... The old man dancing. <laughs> what is happening there? Okay, just fading away from that. Why do they seem like a big professional group now? The dancers, oh my god. They laughing at them? Okay, well, I'm honestly starting to feel like the more I watch of this, the more confused I get. Not in a bad way. I'm kind of, I'm happy about it, but it's it's just, I feel like it's taking me off guard in every possible way. I have no clue what to expect next. And it's a song that of course, like of course I had to put in this. The last song is Dancing Queen. I grew up. Well then grow Full stop. Okay, I mean, the, the, the friends are kind of cute. They're like, yeah, you be childish, it's fine. You don't have to be so serious all the time. I'm guessing that that's their point. Whoa, straight into... They sound so strange together. I... Am I, like, alone in having expected some sort of lead up? It just... Straight in. Here's the chorus. Who needs verses? They're so silly. What's the, the creep move? What are they trying to convince her to do? And why is she... What the hell? Oh, oh my god. I love them, but they are terrifying at the same time. <laughs> I need friends like this. I need them. I was unsure how I felt about them at the start of this song. I didn't know how they were going to be, but... Okay, I approve. They're so weird, but in a good way. If someone did this to me, I'd be like, all right, let's go. We, we're gonna we're gonna do whatever you want. You come to look for a king. They're so lame, but in such an aware way. Whoa. Okay. What the <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god. I can't tell if I should cringe or laugh. <laughs> Her feet start moving. <laughs> Why is she like, why is she cowering like that? It's so like, like she, that she's being like a five-year-old, scared of the thunder or something. Thinking, ooh, the monsters from under my bed have come out and they're singing to me. They're singing Apple. Ah! When you get the what are they doing? <laughs> okay, she's on board now. Why are they behaving like children? Damn, she's got moves. The sound they get when they're like letting out that inner child, I don't know, it's it's kind of sweet, it's cute, and it feels like there's so much energy and I guess like like release behind that. You can dance, you can <laughs> it feels impossible to not tap my feet to this. I'm so curious where they're gonna go. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, if there's like a... I don't know, I don't know what you expect when you slide down like that. Um. Just a hot tip for anyone. <laughs> hot tip. Friction exists. That was such an accidental pun, but I, I have no regrets. This dude's just gonna be like, what is happening? Why is she just walking out with the bra too? Are they just gonna cause havoc? Is that the, is that the plan? <laughs> They're so silly and it's getting me on board. It's weird. Is this becoming a flash mob? Bro, that she just abandoned the- Oh, well, he's like, well, you know, I may be dying. I'm gonna fall down, break my legs, maybe smash my spine to smithereens, but at least I get a nice little fun show. You know, music and death. And when you get oh. the chance, you oh, yeah, the slow-mo shots. Oh my god, that scenery is gorgeous. I love how everyone is kind of just like, 
loving it, like not even judging or hating, they're just like, yeah, or joining in even. <laughs> I love her, oh my god. They're just collecting a, a, a crew. Oh my, okay. The entirety of Greece joins them. <laughs> I love that that man's just got a boat on his piano for whatever. Everyone is joining in in any way they can. Obviously, you know, it's fantastical and a movie musical, but, but it's just, it's still odd. But I am enjoying just how unabashedly happy, I don't know, positive this is. It really feels like this catharsis where everyone here is letting that inner child out. Oh, goody, more dancing on docks. <laughs> At least they don't have flippers this time. Why is this actually kind of cute? I love big group vocals like this. Okay, whoa. Unexpected. Oh my god. Everyone gets pushed in. Oh, she just, I was gonna say, what about her? She just jumps in. Fair enough. What a chill vibe. That was still very strange. <laughs> it's really weird when you can come into something and have zero expectations. You know, I was thinking, I'm not really gonna be surprised by anything because this could be whatever, you know? But still, I'm here <laughs> shocked, shook a little bit, you know? And not really in like a sound or really anything to do with the music. It's just the, the tone. The tone is not what I thought, but I feel like it's a tone that they needed in order to pull this off. Like I said, I feel like you need to have an element of being self-aware and also the fact that at least from what I can tell, they've kind of centered it around this idea of like letting yourself be childish, letting yourself do these things and opening yourself up to experiencing life like that and not keeping yourself closed, being like, oh, I'm a big serious adult that has to do big serious adult things. I feel like that really allows the movie and the songs to have a whole bunch of leniency when it comes to things that like otherwise might be kind of cringe, but in that context they don't really seem it because that's kind of the point, you know? Letting yourself do that and be happy. You know, in saying that maybe it's not that deep, but it's just what I got out of it. And even if that wasn't specifically the intention, I still find that valuable. So at the end of this, sure, I'm on board. Why not? Mamma Mia? Okay, let's do it. I don't really know if that was how I thought I'd feel at the end of this video, but I'm not complaining. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here, and I'll see you next time.